Hello everyone and welcome back to today's episode of One Man Stream. My name's Tim and I once again will be your host. And this is the second installment uh, in our baseball starting lineup graphic. And I'll bring this back in just so that you uh, remember what it looked like. This is what it looked like uh, in our previous episode. Uh, we did the uh, creation of the graphic and GT title designer as well as the animation. Today what we're going to do is we're going to bring now we're going to bring data into our graphic. And this is how we're going to do it. If you remember last time we used an Excel function called VLOOKUP. And what we would have to do is we would have to input uh, information in a certain field and then it would go over and look through our data range and pull up that information and it would bring it back and put it uh, where we wanted it. Today we're going to do something just a little bit differently. What we're going to do, and if I click on one of these cells, uh, you'll actually see what's going on. Uh, when I click on this cell here, you can see this little arrow that comes to the side. I'll click on that arrow and we're actually going to have a drop down menu. So instead of actually having to input the information into these cells, we'll have a drop down menu and we can just pick and choose uh, what we want. So it's going to make it a little bit easier for us. The backbone of all this is going to be, once again, it's going to be VLOOKUP. All right, so there's four things that we have to have for VLOOKUP. The very first one is, is select where uh, you want to put the input search term. And so uh, last time, uh, depending on what we were looking for, uh, we'd either uh, uh, designate this cell here or this cell here, uh, depending on whether we wanted to uh, search for the uh, player's number or for the player's graphic. Part two was select the data range that we want to look in. So what we did last time is we included this entire data range over here. Our data range in this example would be G2 to K22. So that's what our data range would be. And then part three, select which column to find the result. If you remember, uh, in our data range, that very first column is column one. So then it would go column two, column three, column four, and column five. If we were searching for the image and we wanted, to that, and wanted that to be returned, uh, we would be looking in column five for the image. Uh, the last part is true or false for an exact match. If you remember last time, we just used false. We don't have to have an exact match. We don't want it to be uh, case sensitive. If we start out with a lowercase, we still want it to bring back uh, what we're searching for. If we start with uppercase, we still want it to bring back what we're searching for. So we put false there. We don't have to have an exact match. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to do uh, the drop down menu. And like I said, it's very simple. Um, I already have it set up for here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you would set it up for right here. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to select all the cells where you want the drop down menu to go. And as you can see, as I'm clicking on them, we're not getting that arrow over uh, onto the right hand side like we are here. Uh, we're not getting that arrow to show up down here. You have to select all the cells that you want to have that drop down menu. So I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to click on all of these. And then I'm going to go up here to data and click on data. And then I'm going to go over here to where it says validate data. And then under allow, I'm going to change that to list. And when we do that, uh, it brings in this little source box here. So our source is going to be the range of data that we want to incorporate in that drop down menu. So I'm going to come over here to home team and I'm going to select the first player and I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to select the last player. And you can see it brings in that range there, uh, A2 to A20. And then I'm going to click OK. And then let's go back over here to the main and you can see next to each one of these now, we have the uh, drop down menu uh, arrow. And so let's select one of them. And you can see all the names from that list uh, that we just use as our data range. And that's how easy it is. And it's gonna make it really, really hand us, handy for us uh, when we're doing uh, the VLOOKUP function. I want to uh, draw your attention to this area right here. Uh, as I am uh, 
changing these, I'm going to change this one from John Smith to Steve Blue. As I do, you can see that the graphic image changes. So I'm going to put it back to John Smith. So let's go to this guy right here. We're going to click the drop down menu and we're going to select James Red. And when we do, it brings up the corresponding image that goes along with James Red over here. And this image was brought in using the VLOOKUP function. So let's go to the next one. And that's going to be Steve Blue. And when we click on Steve Blue, it brings in the exact, uh, it brings in uh, the image associated uh, with Steve Blue over on this side. And let's go ahead and uh, finish out our starting lineup. And we're going to use Thomas Green. And then it also brings in the associated graphic image uh, with Thomas Green. So uh, like I alluded to this last time, you may be saying, well, all you're doing is bringing information from the right side over to the left side. And that is true. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this static, the static fields right here to map our graphic. If not, what we'd have to do each time is we'd have to come over uh, to this right hand side and figure out who the starting lineup is going to be. And then we would have to individually go in and map each one of these individual coordinates and it would be different uh, for each starting lineup. By doing it this way, these are going to be static and we're going to be able to map these guys and when we map them once, that's all we're going to have to do. We'll be able to use it over and over and over uh, each time uh, we're doing a starting lineup. So let's show you how we do the, uh, the VLOOKUP. So the very first thing it says here, it says start the process by putting an equal sign in the cell where you want uh, the result returned. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do that. So the cell where we want our um, data search entered is going to be right here under the batting order image. So let's go ahead and put an, uh, an equal sign in here and start typing VLOOKUP and our parentheses. And the very first thing that we come to is we're going to select where we input the search term. Where we're going to input the search term right here uh, from the drop down menu. So let's go ahead and click that and you can see where it brings in B16. And then the next thing is uh, the data range. So the data range we're going to use is going to be over here and we're going to use starting with this cell right here which is H2 to this cell right here so we're going to use H2 to K20. And what I should do is we're going to use H2. And then we're going to put in a colon. And that's going to designate the range. And we're going to go to right here, which is K20. And then we're going to use another comma. And then where are we looking? Let's go to our uh, number three here. Select which column in which we're going to find the result. So we're going to find it. This is column one, column two, column three. We're going to find our result in column four. So we're going to go ahead and put four here and then another comma. And then we're going to type in false because it does not have to be an exact match. And we're going to close our parentheses and hit enter. Okay. So let's see what happens when we bring in our select John Smith and it actually brings in the, um, image associated with John Smith. And it's going to do that for each one of these guys as we go down. Well, let me show you a little trick. This is where we did the uh, first lookup function. But if I click on this little box right here and drag it down, what it does, it's going to extend uh, that function all the way down. But one thing we need to do is we need to go back because for some reason uh, it only um, it, it doesn't include the entire data range. You can see right here, this one says H3 and this one says H4 as we keep going down in the row. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't include the whole uh, range. So what we're going to do is go into each one of these and we're going to make sure that each one of these say H2 because we want to make sure that the entire data range uh, is getting looked through. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, each time we do the drop down menu, it's going to go through our entire range of data 
and it's going to pull out what we're looking for. So let's do another one. Click on the cell, go to our drop down menu we just created. Let's click William Brown. Over here to the right, we're going to see William Brown is this DeMontez Duncan clip, and it is DeMontez Duncan. So we're going to do uh, one more. And we're going to click on Sam Orange, and Sam uh, Orange brings back Husan. Sam Orange is also associated uh, with Husan. So let's just go ahead and click on these other ones just for the heck of it. Donnie Black, Ed White, Todd Gray, James Red, Steve Blue, and Thomas Green. All right, and for some reason, Thomas didn't bring us back what we needed and it's because we didn't change the range on thomas so let's go up here and change this h1 or h12 to h2 and then hit enter and then it does bring back what we want so you can see how easy that is it's very easy to make this drop down menu and it's very easy to manipulate the vlookup to do what we want it to the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the title editor and we're going to map the graphic that we created right here to the data that we're sorting out right here. There's only two parts to this graphic uh, that we actually have to bring in the data for. Uh, each one of these uh, players has their name and it has their image. So what we're going to do is we're going to be bringing in um, the name from the drop down menu and then through VLOOKUP. Uh, we're bringing in these images. The image that we're actually going to be mapping it to is going to be one called graphic image. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the original image. And when we're going through and sorting the data through VLOOKUP, it's bringing it over into this field. And the heading of this is called graphic image. So let's go back and uh, look at our title editor. And we're going to click on title editor. And let's go all the way down here and player name. So player name, this is the very first one. We're going to go under data sources and we're going to see where we have the X, where we've uh, selected Excel comma separated values. And on this particular Excel spreadsheet that I have, there are three tabs, main, home and away. And what we're looking for is indeed on the main tab. Here are our columns that we have on our spreadsheet and the two columns that we're going to be using our player name and then the other one I told you about is graphic image so when we come to the player images uh, we're going to be mapping it the role that we're going to be mapping it to is the one that's going to be say is the one that's going to say graphic image and then for the first player we're going to obviously use uh, row one and then as we go player two player three player four player five player six player seven player eight and player nine and as I said uh, what we're doing is those numbers actually uh, correspond to the numbers in the scorebook. So this would be position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nope, that's not right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is third base, 6 is shortstop, and then the outfield goes left to right, 7, 8, and 9. So that's how the numbering goes for this particular graphic. So let's look at the next one. This is two, so this is going to be the catcher. So we have the uh, the same thing, the Excel comma separated value. We have, again, we're using the main tab. We're going to uh, map it to the player name, and it's going to be player two. And we'll do one more because I don't want to bore you with all this. The third one is going to be first base. So let's see how that is uh, mapped again. Excel comma separated value. We're using the main tab. We're mapping it to the column that says player name. And then we're mapping it to row th uh, three, uh, which corresponds to the third position on the diamond, which is first base. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, images. So we're going to go all the way down here uh, to the first player image. And like I said, we're going to map that to the column that says graphic image. So these two pieces of information, uh, data source and table, are going to stay the same. Then when we go to the drop down menu, what we're going to do is we're going to select graphic image. 
and then row one, which corresponds to a position one, which is the pitcher. And let's do one more. Uh, position two is going to be the catcher. This information say, stays the same. We're once again mapping it to the graphic image, and we're going to be using row two, which corresponds with position two, which is catcher. So I hope you were able to see how easy uh, this has been in order to do this. Um, and let me just show you what it looks like one more time when we're bringing the graphic in. That's our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed this one-man stream tutorial where we once again dove into how to use VLOOKUP, how to manipulate our data to bring us the information we want, and also how to create a drop-down menu uh, using your Excel spreadsheet. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and a like, and make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. If you haven't had an opportunity to, please drop by our website. It's uh, www.onemanstream.com. Uh, we have the graphics that we have talked about in previous episode. We have the starting five graphic and we have the baseball uh, graphic that we just talked about today. I have that on the website as long as well as all the assets that are needed uh, for this to work in your vMix UTC and your vMix production. As always, thanks so much for spending some time with me here today. Thank you very much.